Mamba Sawad, the game is uh, basically it's a chance for the player to be me and get into a lot of these environments. Um, you know, it's jungles, deserts, or mountains. Um, and you know, try and survive, and you know, make your decisions, live with the consequences of what you do. Pick your tools, pick your terrain, pick your mission, and um, and get in there. The guys who've helped me make this are just basically they take their favourite episodes, favourite bits from those um, shows, but then say, okay, if you had this and it went wrong, or you you chose that wrong decision what would happen so I'm then giving them all the facts of kind of what would actually happen if you grabbed a snake like that and if you try to go for the croc like that or if you tried that leap on the slick rot like that um, and we put it all into a game so in that sense the game widens the horizons of what you can do much further than just what I do in the show um, which makes it kind of fun for a player <laughs> you're surviving you're skydiving in you're building rafts you're fighting off snakes and crocs and sharks and you know, there's quite a cool training zone where you can, you know, practice all your skills and making shelters and making fires. It's cool, you know, it's full on. Um, it's exciting. I've always been a bit nervous of computer games and, you know, I don't want my kids to have lots of violent games and stuff. It's the only computer game I'm letting my kids play. <laughs> the good thing about this game is that um, it's empowering. You know, it's giving people skills that they could use that one day can save their life. But it's in a game that is um, pretty full on, very immersive and exciting, hopefully. E3 is pretty crazy, it's like being back in the military, all I'm hearing is gunshots whizzing over my head. Then I realize it's computer games being played very loudly. Um, so I'm a little bit on edge at the start, but we're getting there now. Man vs. Wild, the game is out this autumn, so um, enjoy.